Whenever people ask me what my hobby is, I usually tell them I make movies. And then they ask me, well, what do you make movies about? And then I usually say, oh, well, dramas, war films, that kind of thing. But really, what I do is make, what I attempt to make at least, in my, from my perspective, is art films. Otherwise, films that are different than the average film. Uh, I go for realism, I go for darkness, not for the sake of being dark. It used to be like that with Captain America, uh, begin, second half, the early phases of that, fallout, where I was making it just to make it dark or darker. But now I'm going from something a little bit different than that, more of a story, something with a compelling story. And then sometimes I tell people, I, I try to make like Oscar films, like films that would win an Oscar. I mean, just so I, that's the best way I can explain it to them. I, I just, not blockbuster films, not the average kind of generic film, but something different, something more than that. And that's the best way I can explain it. I try to have characters that you can relate to, that feel real, that are real. I realize that in Captain America and Fallout it's a little bit different. Part of experiments a little bit, it's, it's still kind of different even though I still try to make them relatable. Because I wasn't really at that level yet. Like I tell Billy and I tell Jacob, a lot of people, true love story. That's when I really figured it out. I make real characters because I played myself. And I had people play characters that existed in my reality. So. Ever since then, I've been developing more realistic dialogue, things people would actually say, not metaphors, not paragraphs, but simple words like, yeah, or how's your day? You know, just small talk, simple things like that. And I try to make it interesting, because you can't have, you know, if you have a film full of small talk, it's just going to be really, it's really boring. I mean, the whole point of seeing a movie is not to see reality. You see something a little bit higher than reality, but still something that you can believe is real. That's my perspective, that's my opinion. Yours may vary, and that's okay, because everyone likes different kinds of movies, and those are the kind of movies I like. So those are the kind of movies I make. Simple as that, that's what I can explain it. Realism, darkness, not just for the sake of being dark. Good story, believable characters, and just overall relatability and compelling. Like just, compelling as in the story's compelling, it's engaging, you feel suspense, you know, in situations, you, f you feel like, I don't want this to happen to the character, or I want the character to do this, I want him to win. And the shots, you know, I try to make the cinematography as unique and different as possible, each and every shot. I think about it, you know, I try to make it dynamic and interesting. Because the last thing I want to do was give you the same shots you've already seen before. Even though it's going to happen anyways, but I still try my best not to. And I have one golden rule I follow always when I make a movie. I'll write a script, and that is, if there's a cliche, you do the opposite. If a cliche ever comes up, just go the other direction. Or just find a way to not have that cliche at all. For example, Captain America ends. Captain America's in the Vietnam War, he's fighting alongside his men. Some of his men are dying, he, it's only him and one, one more soldier left. Now most people would expect Captain America to live because that's usually the hero doesn't die, but I made it to where Cat's America he gets shot point blank and dies at the end. Because just for several reasons, it throws the audience off. We did lose the Vietnam War. Maybe Cat's America's death contributed to that in that um, universe. And because the cliche would be for him to live because he's the hero and the main character broke the cliche. That's three things right there. So that's all I have for you. I could give more examples, but I think you get the idea of what kind of films I like to make. And I'm trying to get better. That's all I can do is practice, practice, practice.